The Russian army has concentrated its main forces in an attack on the cities in the Donetsk region. The units of the defense forces repulsed the attacks of the occupiers and inflicted losses on them in the areas of the settlements of Vasela Dolina, Bakhmut, Zaitseve, Avdiivka and Novomikhailivka. During the day, the aircraft of the defense forces of Ukraine hit four areas of concentration of enemy manpower and military equipment and one stronghold. In addition, two areas of concentration of manpower and military equipment of the Russian invaders fell into the affected area. Failed offensives of the Russian army, the military and political command of the Russian Federation is trying to compensate for missile and airstrikes against Ukrainian infrastructure. The infrastructure of more than 18 settlements suffered from air and missile strikes and shelling with rocket artillery. In particular, these are Kharkiv, Zolochiv, Druzhkivka, Siversk, Zakotne, New York in the Donetsk region, Marinka, Poltavka, Mali Sherbake, Myrne, Veliki Artakove, Krivy Rih, Nikopol, Olhene, Zaporizhia, Orikhiv and Mirolubivka. The day before, the armed forces of Ukraine destroyed a Russian Su-24 aircraft. Two cruise missiles and one UAV were also shot down by the air defense system. According to the Pentagon, the armed forces of Ukraine have strengthened their positions by liberating the occupied territory in Kharkiv and moving forward in the Kherson region. In the north, we estimate that the Ukrainians are consolidating their gains after recapturing a large territory and the Russians are trying to strengthen their defense lines after being driven back. Pat Ryder, Pentagon press secretary, in a comment to CNN. Earlier, the Operational Command South of the Armed Forces of Ukraine reported that the Defense Forces had established fire control over almost the entire territory of the Kherson region. Reported by Pavel Stelmach, Yulia Bil, UATV News.